everybody, this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts, and today I have a small shop haul for you all. And it's actually going to be a very pen-heavy small shop haul today. Not a surprise, I guess, but it wasn't actually planned that way. I just decided I uh, had come back from, uh, I filmed a whole rash of these videos in one go, and I was like, how do I decide what to film when? And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to film these, film these videos in the order of when they were shipped by. So I looked at the shipping date and I'm like, we're just gonna go with that. So it's just the look of the draw of how they fell out. So today we have a Butterfly Effect Wears and this is my first time actually getting pen from Butterfly Effect Wears. And then we have Lazy River Crafts, which is really both of these uh, packages here. This isn't in an actual box and that's because these items were ones that I had ordered and she shipped inside uh, canvases that she was shipping to me. So I pulled them out of my box that the canvases came in and we're going to break into and look at those with this right here. And then we've got Enablers Outpost and there's two little pack two packages here. So we're gonna unbox this one with this because it's a small package and we're just gonna do it that way. So let's get started. I just had the Let's get ready to rumble, go through my head. So we are gonna look at Butterfly Effect Wears. This will be my first time actually getting a pen from Butterfly Effect Wears. So let's break into it. There's my packing label or my receipt invoice, whatever you wanna call it. And we're gonna set the box over to the side. And uh, there's actually two in here, you guys. I was super fortunate that I was able to snag two, not just one, two. I ordered one and then I kind of went back. So here is this beautiful butterfly sticker. And then you have a tea and this is an oolong tea. So I'm always, I'm a tea sucker. I love my teas. We're gonna go into the big pen first. And I love the fact that their sticker is a butterfly. That's pretty. And let us break into it. Batman. All right. Ooh. Look at that shimmer. Oh, pretty. I love that. Oh, those colors, those soft greens leading into the pinks and blues. Love, love, love. Oh, good grief. That is gorgeous. Love it. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Love, love, love. So that is pen number one. And then I was like, uh, I looked and I was like, do they have any others? Cause you know, it's like a free for all. You have to go up there and order frantically. So I looked and they did not, and they still had just a couple of the minis still in stock. And I've been enjoying these mini paint pens lately. So I also was able to snag this beautiful pen right here. I thought that one was beautiful as well. It's simple, but it's again, the perfect size. And I love the, I love the color of their um, pour that they did with this shimmery green, blue, purple, pink, very shimmery and gorgeous pour that they've done. Love that, that's beautiful. So these are the pens that I got from Butterfly Effect Wears. I'm super excited for that, that's beautiful. So that is number one that we are unboxing today. Now we're gonna get into this package right here from Lazy River Crafts. This was actually a de-stash of a couple of the pens that she had. So I this will be my first time having pens from uh, Lazy River. Uh, and I got these from Steph as a de-stash. Um, and then we'll get into the, the items that I actually ordered off of her website. So these were from her personal supply of pens that had been turned for her uh, from Matt that she was de-stashing. So we will take a look and see what they look like. And no, we don't have emoji hounding us. She is currently curled up in the dog bed under the table, sound asleep. She is exhausted and stressed out from kittenage. She's 
still adapting to new kitten. It's it's a big change. So we are gonna look at ooh, that is gorgeous. So even prettier in person than on the picture. I love that. So it's a perfect length. I love these slender lengths or this shorter length here. Uh, and I love the fact that it's got this wood and this burl and then this gold right here. And then there's actually shredded money in the tip, which is really cool. That is super neat and gives it a really interesting and really cool effect. That's super fascinating. And I love, that's really cool. Uh, but this wood down here is neat. And it's got a very slender um, grip right there and a fatter, a little bit of fatter grip there. So that is really cool. Um, love the look of it. Beautiful, beautiful pen. So there is pen number one. And then this one over here is like, look at the wood, like the dyed wood with a little bit of the resin kind of in this resin right here. This black is the resin, but the blue and the pink are dyed wood. And they are beautiful. And it's very, it's got like, it's a very, very beautiful, beautiful pen. Love it. Gorgeous. So I just like loved that color palette, it was gorgeous. So those were the two pens that I got. And now we're gonna break into the other goodies. So this is uh, um, some, if you check out Lazy River Crafts website, there are some extra goodies that she has up there on her uh, website besides just the straight diamond paintings. She's also now got some diamond painting stickers. So this is a sticker pack that I got. I decided to go with this fun mermaid one. So here are the mermaids. Ooh, those are a good size. So I got the mermaids. These are the stickers. You've got this mermaid. You've got that mermaid. And then we've got these mermaids here. And then you've got these mermaids here. So you've got a few different larger mermaids just kind of swimming along. And then you've got the clam and these little fishy stickers, little manta ray, clam. So all in these, these guys are all stickers as well, but you don't diamond paint those ones. And then, of course, it comes with the basic uh, green boat, pink wax, and uh, red wax, and then the pink diamond painting pen. And then these are the drills. So you have some larger special drills in there. And then these are all going to be crystals. I'm not going to open it up to see, but I went with the crystal mermaid. So I thought that would be a fun one to do. Um, just kind of give me that, you know, something fun, something different to do. So, and it, that will be a fun, you know, when you want to break from an actual diamond painting kit, you have a fun little uh, sticker kit to go with. And then I also ordered some other goodies as well. And here we will get into them. So here are the stickers. And she told me, she was like, I looked for some pink flamingo stickers, but I couldn't find any in my stash. So I don't have any pink flamingo stickers. This one reminds me of flower delivery. Oh yes. Uh, yes, please. Light bulb. We're gonna lay these stickers out a little bit so we can kind of see them a little. Just gives a little bit of that fun look. Time with the, the daisy smiling at us. Boom. Oh, that's a cute ladybug. Oh, look at that orange. And uh, San Francisco. Ooh, that's a pretty one with the Golden Gate Bridge. So now we are going to get into the goods. So these are all cover minders, you guys. And she posted all of these beautiful cover minders and I could not resist. So I got, these ones are like the, uh, what are they? They're the, like the metal, I don't know what it's called. And those are some really nice thick magnets, but these ones are very much the Asian inspired ones, the yin yang. Uh, here you've got a couple uh, dragons very strong magnets and here you have your uh, koi right there it's 
like how far apart can you put these and not have them like sucked into each other. Along with that same theme is this one goes along with that same th set. These two kitty cats hugging very much so along that same set. And I love that these are all like the metal, is it an enamel when they're metal? So they're like they're pins that you, you basically you take the pin off the back and you put on the magnets. And then, um, yeah, I had to get the unicorn cake because that was a must. And then these guys, look at the little, uh, the little foxy wearing his rainbow glasses. And then the last of them, they were, I think they were all along like these little foxy scene. Look at this little guy with the little rainbow ears. It's like a little foxy, like this one was like a little dog. Uh, reminds me of a, uh, that one reminds me of a corgi. This one is a little fox with, with the big ears, like a little fennec fox. That's what that one reminds me of. Here's a little kitty with his cape, with a little rainbow cape. The cover reminder is wanting to suck into the other cover reminder. And then a classic fox with the rainbow tail. So a kitsune fox. Yeah, they go right there. They have to be spaced just far enough apart. So those were my purchases from Lazy River, the two pens from the D stash, and then the cover minders, which you can get these, I think they're called the enamel cover minders. You can get the enamel cover minders, not necessarily these exact ones, but you can get enamel cover minders from her website, Lazy River Crafts, and then stickers, you can get those from the website as well. And now for our last item, which will be probably more pens. Ah, uh, ba ba ba. So my note, thank you so much. You're a rock star. I was like, why is this one so big? So because I ordered this in September, uh, you've got some classic like leading up into Halloween-y time. Uh, granted, this probably is not gonna be, end up going up uh, until probably November. So Halloween will already be over, but I did order it in September. Um, so here is our halloween -y. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas kind of theme. There is sticker sticker of Elizabeth and Edward. <laughs> Love it. The shark, rainbow shark. But look at the little bee buzzing around. Boom. And then we have our candies. Love the candies. Ooh, some zots. Love the zots. I ordered a mystery bag. This little mystery bag. We will see what it is. I got a letter and a couple pens. Here is some Sudoku medium. Last time I ordered from them, I got an easy Sudoku. This is a medium Sudoku. I think they're assuming, I think Elizabeth is assuming a little bit much from me. I think she's saying, hey, I sent you an easy Sudoku last time. Now you're getting some medium Sudoku. I wonder if next time I'll get a hard Sudoku. We'll see. I don't think it works that way that you get better that quickly. All right. Here is a letter apparently for me. Uh, I'm trying to think. I, oh, I think I ordered the, uh, oh, I think I know what's in here. Do I know what's in here? I don't know if I know what's in here. I can't tell. Do I, do I not? Oh, wait, that's right. Okay, I decided to order, uh, that's right, I do know what's in here, because I ordered the um, Uno, Maui, and Opie cover minders, uh, and she included a little note um, saying, thank you so much for your support, we love Mochi and Alyssa, so look at their cute faces, that's adorable, I'm a sucker for the babies, but look at the babies. So I had to get the babies to add, so that way I could have their faces. So those were the cover minders. I was like, what is that? And I forgot, it was like because I ordered the, the I got those cover minders to support um, them and the babies. So that's Uno, Maui, and Opie. And soon um, the little sushi will probably start making her appearance all over everything. Uh, once, yeah, so she'll start making her appearance as she gets older and can not make a complete mess of everything. Oh, we're going to save that box. 
And we're gonna go into these and do, 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 do. So these pens for this one, and I justified, I was like, we'll do this big order and I just won't order any pens the following week. And which I did good. I didn't order any pens the weekend after this um, one because I ordered these three pens and then that. I did good the following week. I haven't, didn't order anything last weekend pen wise. But here is the first one. Look at that. I love the glitter in there. That's beautiful. Look at it. Beautimous. It's a little bit chunkier. I kind of wanted to try one that's not quite as thin as the normal pens that I do. It's a little bit fatter than I normally go with. But I was like, I'm going to try it. It's still kind of like that. It's not a super long distance wise. Uh, so it's not super lengthy. A uh, little bit longer, but not like into the six range. It's probably along that. Uh, let me pull out another of my uh, typical length pens. Yeah, so that's a standard length that I go with from Enablers Outpost. It's just a little bit fatter and a little bit thicker than I normally do. But uh, I was like, I'm still like, I'm like, it's just a little bit thicker. And I'm like, you know, if you want to try different things and check out new styles on an occasion. So that's what I decided to go with. And now we will check out pen number dos. Number dos. This one uh, has this beautiful glitter in it here. You can see I love that glitter pattern. But what I think really sold me on this pen wasn't like I love this white kind of like swooshiness in it. I think that's what I liked most about this pen is it kind of had this like swooshiness to it, which really stood out and made it look different. And I was like, I like that look. I think I need that swooshiness to it. So look at the, I love all of the colors that it picks up in this shimmeriness. It just gives it such a different look. So that was pen number two. So now we are gonna go into pen number three, which was like, I love the pattern and I was like, I'm gonna get that one as well. And this one, look at that blank. Um, I was like, that is super beautiful. Look at the colors where it goes from like this rainbow kaleidoscope of colors. And it's just so totally different. And I was like, I wanna go with this where it's completely different than the other ones. It's a little bit fatter than what I normally go with as well. But again, I like I was like this honeycomb pattern and then like this vibrancy of this color shift was something that I wanted to try. And I'm like, you know what? I do wanna try like occasionally, you know, try something that feels a little different in the hand and see if I like it. So that's why I went with this one as well. So those are the three pens that I ordered from Enablers Outpost. And then I also did, like I said, there was one other thing that I did and that one other thing that I did was the mystery grab bag. And the mystery grab bag is just that. It's a mystery golden bag. So I do not know what is in here. I touched the cover minders and they went splooting all over. So now I have to unsplute the cover minders. We're gonna put them. Oh, I lost a magnet. We're gonna put that. These, you know they're good cover, they're good magnets when you have to like space them out like this. All right, we are going to open this right here. So what is in this mystery bag? All right, we're gonna open and see. All right, here's some, and there is one pen in here. And she said that you may have a fair warning. There may be uh, some of the items in the mystery bag, fair warning, may have profanity on them. So item number one, my crystal ball says, you're full of shit. That is hilarious. That's too funny. So we're going to readjust so that way we can kind of like fit this all in. So I'm gonna move these over so that this can sit right there. And I can put some of these things right up here. So, and item number two, a Christmas tree cover minders. These are cover minders. So there's number one, 
number true, Christmas tree. So now I have no excuse to not get in the, hi. Hey, if I, if I put this up on my, uh, uh, like if I set this up somewhere in my living room, does that mean that I've now put up my Christmas tree for the holidays? Inquiring minds want to know, because I could totally do that and then I have decorated for the holidays. Ooh, look at that, perfect for the holidays, a spoopy black apple. Or is that a candied apple just shaped like a skull? I like it. That's fun. And I am opening this before... I am opening this for before Thanksgiving. It's just the video is not going up before Thanksgiving. So probably not going up before Thanksgiving. Depends on the timing. And you have a funnel. So this can come in handy. I do not own a funnel of any type. So I can use this for any number of things. Even if I don't use it for diamond painting, I can use this funnel for things because I do not have a funnel. It's also fun to play with. So you have a funnel, boom, which again, like I said, I do not own a funnel. I, in my house, there's a little black funnel there. We're gonna turn it that way because that just looks weird. I'm not peeking in when I open things. And then we have a gold tip there and then let's see I like the gold pen let's see what this is so this tells me this one is probably one of the um, palm placer ones let's see what does this look like Ooh, look at those colors that's pretty oh I like that that's a pretty color so you've got this gold to the purples. Ooh, that's a pretty color. And I like that it's not just like a smooth shape. It's actually got like this bevel in the middle. That's interesting. I like it, that's pretty cool. I have yet to actually use the other one that I have. So now I, this'll be only the second one of these. And what I think is really cool is other companies I've seen will do like palm placers, but this is the first time I've seen a company that will do a palm placer. And they'll put like a hole on both sides. So you could actually use both sides depending on how you hold it. So if you're somebody that likes a really, really fat, small pen, you could hold it like this and use both sides. Or you just take out like your, your tip like this and you can hold it like this in place more like that. Or you could hold it completely in your palm like this in place like this. So there's a lot of options that you can do for placing uh, when you do it but this is a beautiful pen uh, I kind of think I would probably use it as a multi-placer like this and probably hold it like this because this feels comfortable in my hand again I haven't actually practiced with it because uh, I go through in a chronological order from when I purchased the pen is how I use my pens as I work my way through um so but I, that is really pretty so this is my first ever like mystery bag of any type that I have gotten and uh, that was that was fun I, like i'm happy with everything that i got this cracks me up those were cute those cover minders were fun i like that pen that i got and that's why i like I'm, i like everything from enablers outpost so i figured i can't go wrong with enablers outpost and then our last thing that we got was this little package of oh, i had to rip it because it was i don't know how she crammed that in there so we were chatting and she was like, hey, I can send you uh, a package of some 5200 glow drills for uh, Super Dragon, that massive Super Dragon kit that I have. Uh, if you want me to, to go along with some of the other, because I have some other glow drills in it. She's like, if you want, I can send you some 5200 glow drills. And I'm like, sure, I'll take, like, that would be great. Because, uh, which I was expecting a little bag. Look at all of these glow drills that Elizabeth sent me. Like, that is so many glow drills of this 5200 but I'm like hey that like I was not expecting this many glow drills so I have all of the square glow drills I could of 5200 that I could ever want like I am set for life in glow drills which works for me uh so I can start adding some white glow in the dark uh, drills to pretty much any square painting I have uh, that calls for white glow-in-the-dark drills. 
so yeah I because I, I was literally expecting like you know uh not like a bag I was expecting basically a baggie like this size of drills boom and look at how many she sent me I think I'm set for life on 5200 glow drills uh but uh, I'm gonna add some of these into the super dragon kit uh, and add that to the glow drills that are already in there when I work it up. So that will be fun. So that is my haul for today. So we have our two pens from Butterfly Effect Wears, my pens, and these beautiful enamel cover minders, and this fun little uh, sticker pack from uh, Diamond Painting Stickers from Lazy River Crafts. These three gorgeous pens and these the cute uh, cover minders from Enablers Outpost, and then the mystery uh, golden baggy uh, set from Enablers Outpost as well. And look, like that's turned out really, this is really pretty. I like it. And then this 5200 pack of 5200 glow drills. So all in all, like really good haul. I am pleased with this haul. So a lot of pens. I got a lot of pens today. I didn't think it was going to be this many pens when I did my unboxing of everything. But anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a great day, everybody. Bye.